Dion, um, it's always disappointing to, to lose a test match. Um, and you've got a deciding test this week. Um, does is there sort of an inclination to sort of maybe sort of I mean you tried things that were new on Saturday is what I'm trying to say are you going to carry on in that direction or because you're playing for the series now sort of revert maybe to more the sort of game you played against the Lions last year for instance uh, listen, it's, it's always awful to, to lose in a Springbok jersey that's something that you don't want um, but um, I mean uh, the team that we've selected last week was part of a bigger picture and the plans that we had in mind and I think that was well communicated to everyone within the squad um, in terms of what we want to achieve. Um, but obviously playing every game as I said we want we play to win and uh, um, we know now going into this game um, which which is which is actually a final um, and, and, and taking that into consideration um, uh, the World Cup is also about finals, it's about knockout games and uh, Having seen so much about the whole squad, the 42 players that played um, under the circumstances, under pressure in, in a test match, gives, gives us now the opportunity to, to sort of make, make a selection um, based on, 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 on the roadmaps of the players, their performances, um, uh, in terms of our game plan, to make a selection um, that we think will suit the best going into this game. Um, yeah, and with that in mind, obviously, I think we will we will select which we think is the best possible side um, to give us a good result this coming Saturday. Dion, um, you, you guys set quite high standards for yourselves. Um, would you agree that in both tests that you guys probably haven't achieved the standards, those standards yet, or where you want to be? No, definitely. I mean, um, we, we we always try we always try to achieve uh, and to play towards. Uh, the best of our ability, um, but we also uh, um, know that there is certain, um, there will always be be, be 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 obstacles that we will have to overcome, and also because we're playing against a quality quality side and quality competitors in in in, in Wales. Um, but uh, yeah, this it's always good that if if you know there's things that you can improve on, can work on to become better. Uh, um, that is that is part of the growth of of, of, of getting um, into sort of a, the, the game plan that we want and the execution that we want from our players. But at the same time, you, you your second half at Loftus and most of the game last week was there was, there was also quite a lot of encouragement, wasn't there? I mean, there's a lot of promise. No, definitely. Listen, we 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 are fortunate in that situation that we've got. <coughs> Um, so much quality players, and I think uh, if you look, think about this squad of 42 or more. I mean, we we've got a, a lot of confidence in, in 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 all of these players. There's maybe one or two players that that you that you not worry about, but where you where you where you think about the ability to perform at this level. But um, that was also the, the reason why we with confidence selected an, a new team for the second test because we feel that there's a lot of talent, there's a lot of ability. It's just a matter of, of exposing the players to to the uh, um, the pressure of test match rugby, and 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 then and then see how they as individuals react um, in terms of the physical demands of the game. Um, how do how do they make decisions under pressure? How do they execute their their skill set under pressure? And and all of those things now, uh, um, because we've looked at it now. It gives us a lot of answers um, in terms of the ability of players or in terms of our game plan and, 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 and where we can go from it. So whether we've lost or whether we've won the game, the, uh, the situation that we have found ourselves in now gave us more lessons to learn from going forward. Um, if we did not do that, then maybe um, if we've won the game and, and it was now... Uh, just a rubber stamp game to to complete the series. Maybe the players wouldn't have got, gotten that, that that opportunity to perform under under a final under a situation with with a lot of pressure. Yeah, and, and yeah, we're fortunate that we are in that position. Do you have to what extent um, this uh, weekend possibly is it a mental game? You know, like we we saw on the weekend, for example, maybe. You know, a few uncharacteristic things, like you know, a guy in front of a kicker, and you know, Warwick drifting, and you know, you would expect a switch or something like that. Yeah. Um, how do you um, the levels of alertness? Is is that something that's been uh, addressed from the weekend, um, or was it not an issue? And how important is that mental game this weekend? 
No, definitely. Listen, we've, we've, we've um, Stephen, we've looked, we've looked in depth in terms of of, of all those learnings. Um, um, we know guys like Warwick and a lot of guys at the back are talented players, but uh, um, obviously there's a step up to test rugby and under no, I mean, uh, a part of, of of making good decisions under these pressure situations or getting yourself into a good position is things that they can learn from. Um, 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 having played played in in this specific game so because it becomes important for us that um, in test match rugby you don't get a lot of opportunities um, in the uh, um, 22 meters of the of the opposition so when you get that opportunities it's important that you have to capitalize and to use them and that demands um, good executions in terms of individual skills or good decision making uh, um, and yeah and I think I, I we I just think that I think the players would have learned um, in terms of that. Uh, they are quality players, but those are just areas that they, because they had that experience now, they can improve next time if they get a chance. To what extent do you think, if we're looking now at results, um, is, there still, is the rugby, international rugby worldwide kind of evened out between hemispheres? I mean, the, the quality of the teams, so how many... I think there's so much more um, these days because of the quality teams. Yeah, I, I think uh, um, teams get better every year um, uh, in terms of of uh, um, they get better in terms of of, of the game plans. They get they get better in terms of adapting to different situations, different playing styles. Um, I, 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 we can could also see in terms of the. The URC competitions are our teams adapted, uh, um, quickly adapted over a period of time. Um, uh, yeah, and, and I feel that the, the gap between the different international teams is getting closer. And and uh, you see, every game now is a uh, um, you can't surely say whether which side it will go in terms of the quality that is that, that you see that you see every week in, in terms of especially the test matches that are that are played now. So um, I think it's going to become more challenging um, as we as we build up towards the World Cup because teams are seeking for answers. Um, they they want to find the uh, the perfect squad. They want to they want to settle in terms of the game plans and stuff. And and, and all the players um, no, use these games in order to uh, to get to that specific point that they can feel comfortable in terms of the execution and what they want to achieve. So. Um, yeah, I, I think I just think it's very close amongst the best teams in the world. <coughs> Steve, um, sorry, 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 Steve. And maybe France can weigh on this as well because he's played against them a lot. Um, the, the Welsh always give yeah, just a word on your opposition, really. Um, the Welsh always give me the impression that they're the one team, um, well, outside of maybe the All Blacks, uh, that, that that can sort of that don't get as intimidated by your physicality. You know, even the other team, even England, every now and then, mm. like the World Cup final, you get the impression that they sort of take a step back. But the, the Welsh, they, they, I mean, they don't have as many punches as you. Punches as you, but they, it's almost like they are sort of like if it was a boxing fight, they sort of take a lot of hits, but they still they still keep standing up. Um, how, how much do you think that, that that assessment is true? I mean, they do seem to be a sort of they, they don't seem to mind the physicality as much as <coughs> the other teams. No, definitely. I mean, this is something that we that we've talked from the start, um, and also in terms of past experience against Wales, is that. They are the, one of those teams that that are prepared to go to dark places and challenging you there. Um, um, I mean, if you look, just look at the intent of the of the the tackles that they've made uh, in the past Test match and 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 how they really gave massive comp uh, uh, competition in terms of 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 stopping malls or, or or getting to us, getting stuck into the scrums and stuff. Um, <coughs> there is um, said a testament of, of of their ability to. Uh, um, to, to stuck in there, and and we've said from the start um, that listen, uh, we will have to we will have to impose ourselves for 80 minutes on them. If you if you if you uh, lack that uh, in terms of character or in terms of what you want to achieve, then then it will be it will be difficult. But also from our side, I mean, we as I said, um, uh, l looking back at the game, I think. Uh, um, your discipline. If you if, if if you're not disciplined against a team like Wales, you give them an opportunity to to gain territory advantage and get themselves in a better position, and and they will consistently be 
be in the game. So that is that is areas that that we can improve on. And and when you get opportunities, you have to make sure that you take those opportunities because against a team that gets stuck in there for 18 minutes, it becomes difficult the longer the game goes on. First, uh, how did you guys internally as the players um, as, have um, spoken to one another and um, processed this whole thing? I mean, how, how's the, what is the talk between the players? The whole thing you're meaning? Uh, the reaction to the defeat. Oh, obviously, okay, Saturday. You know, it's... First of all, I think we, we're a squad, we're one squad, and when you're not playing, it's your responsibility to help the team that's playing as best as you can in the preparation in the week. Obviously, it's the, the result isn't the one we wanted, um, but as I, as I said earlier, you know, it's a squad and it's our responsibility to rectify that. Just on the forward pack, the discipline and coach came afterwards to say that the discipline probably let the team down as well, giving Welt an opportunity. Um, at scrum time, whether it be early engagement or whatever, there's quite a few issues around that. So what was your assessment and, and what, how, did, how does things change moving forward into that final test? Yeah, as you said, um, and as our coach said, Discipline is massive for us. Um, I can't talk on behalf of the guys that was on the field. There's the new ruling about the handbrake of the hookers, which I think we got wrong twice. Um, and the one where they said we scrummed early. Um, on the on the break foot, it's something we need to clarify. Um, and, you know, I can't talk on behalf of the guys that was on the field. I don't know how it was implemented and how the, what the communication was between them and the ref. It's just, as I said um, to Stephen as well, it's our responsibility now in the week to clarify that and to have a clear plan that, you know, to go into the weekend. Just to follow up on Steve's question, Prime, just as a group, um, you know, following following the results and the performance and the team that was selected, I mean, is there a sense within the broader group not to panic at this stage? I mean, is everyone kind of very calm about where you are? I mean, one result doesn't change everything that's been achieved over the last couple of years, I would imagine. Yeah, obviously the, the, the situation we're in is the reality. So, as I said, it's our responsibility, you know, to be clinical and, you know, to be responsible this week in our prep, to be as you know, as best as, as best as we can be um, going into the weekend and to treat it as a final because it is the final of the series. Do you, do you, um, Francis just mentioned the word clinical, made me think of it. Um, to, to, what, to what extent do you sort of acknowledge as coaches when you're doing your selections and that, that that team that played on Saturday, sort of like a lot of the combinations were playing together for the first time. They had a lot of the game and they, you know, they created a lot of opportunities, but when you haven't played together, Sometimes the passes just aren't quite as sync on sync as they, they were. I mean, like the Stormers, for instance, were probably a lot better at that, like a couple of months into the URC mm. than they were in the beginning. To what extent do you sort of acknowledge that when you look at the selection and you say, well, you know, it was their first game together, really? And um, I'm not just talking about the combination mm. of the team as a whole. I mean, um, even the even the even mm. the, the team that played at Loftus hadn't played hadn't played since November. Well, listen, we, we, we're very real, realistic in terms of, of and we're open-headed in terms of the selections and stuff that we've made. And, and we expect that uh, um, uh, that in a game like that, in, in, in making a lot of changes or giving guys an opportunities, that things like, like that might happen. But as I said before, the biggest uh, um, reward from that is is that the, the learnings that you get from a game like that. Uh, um, and and uh, because you learn of the players, you learn of your game plan. Um, and, and I think that is that is the the positives that we take out that we take out of that. And and we knew from the start, as I said, that it might be risky, but it's a risk and reward thing in terms of where we sit now. Luckily, now we know where we are, and 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 we can we can move forward with facts on the table and not you see thumbs up or or wonder about things. And I, and I think that's that is that is that is that that is the best reward from this. And and from now on is is take the learnings. Uh, um, um, as coaches, as players, uh, um, uh, find solutions, making good plans, and, and, and take accountability in terms of how we take this forward. 
Yeah, I'm uh, saying that uh, I mean you guys have lost your number one ranking now as well. Uh, I know I mean that's one of those things, but I mean how much does that factor into you guys' mind? And it's obviously not that you want to always be at number one. And uh, I think every every um, if you look at a, a vision or a long term vision or plan. Um, wanting to become number one, wanting to be world champions, I think uh, that must still be your aim always. But for us now, it's 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 the current situation, you understand? And, and focusing on rather our performance now and, and, and how can we become better. And, and I think from that there on, the rest will, will take its course. Uh, because, I mean, you only get there and you only stay there by, by, by staying in the moment and working as hard as possible to, 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 to give your best every time. Um, in order to, to, to get that position on the lock. Yeah, and just also you, that last scrum as well, just your, now that you've gone ahead and looked at the video again, do you feel you guys should have got a penalty in that last scrum? There's nothing that we can change about that now. Obviously, uh, it will always be either your own fault or maybe a, a referee gets a, a different uh, opinion or interpretation in terms of that. Uh, the best for us now is just to understand listen, what can we do better under the same circumstances uh, so that we don't make the, next, the same mistake next time. Coach, the time following the Rugby World Cup win <coughs> was a really different time in terms of the matches that the team played. You guys weren't exposed to fans and stuff. There's been our two proper games where you've actually been able to experience that in-person communication with the media. How different than Good in the sense as they've been for the team and for the setup itself. No, it's fantastic to be to, to play in front of a uh, crowd again. I think the crowd at Loftus Fairfield and this weekend in Bloemfontein were tremendous. I mean, you you have to be there to actually uh, experience that, and we we are thankful f uh, that we have so many uh, people in South Africa that are passionate about the Springboks and uh, um, and and enjoy watching the rugby. Um, and I think that 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 is really. Um, uh, um, is massive or means a lot to us um, and um, especially when you lose a game you, you, you get that sense that listen ugh, maybe we've disappointed the people and and, um, and and that is not as I say as Springboks we we just want to give our best every time we, we run onto our field knowing that 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 we have that that type of support um, and yeah we know maybe this weekend in Cape Town it will it will be the same and then we're looking, we're looking forward to play against uh, uh, the people of Cape Town. Do you have any one on the, uh, the Cape Town Stadium full um, for the first time you know, to experience that? Um, how special is that going to be? You know, obviously, it's going to be very special. As Coach said, you know, Loftus and Bloom was amazing. Um, and if the stadium is full this weekend, you know, it will be. Very special and amazing again. Um, I don't know if it's sold out yet. You might know. Um, but yeah, let's hope it sells out. Guys, we've got about um, seven minutes left. So if you want to pop if any Afrikaans questions in, please do so now. Can okay, we just get an injury just from Dion if there's any fitness wise for the border squad? Um, the guys at that didn't play and that did play. At this stage, it's just Andre Estrazen that's got a broken hand, so he will be out for about four weeks. Um, so yeah, he's, he's the only player. Other than that, all the players are available for selection this week. Thanks. Do you want to, um, you, you've got to win the series on Saturday and, and obviously you want to do that. So that's, that's, that's important. But the next game is one that everybody's been waiting for. I mean, the, the, the All Blacks always are like a ratchet. Is up. I mean, you want to see this country go crazy about rugby, it's when the All Blacks arrive. How much of, uh, of awareness is there that you've got like 18 minutes before because normally you play the, the All Blacks in, at home much later in the, in, in the season. Now suddenly we play them sort of almost like at the start. How much of the, does that sort of bring on extra pressure? Maybe a prompt you can answer that as well because you've been part of many of these games. Um, how, much of, how much of it is, uh, do you have the All Blacks starting to come into your mind as well? To be honest with you, I think all our focus now is just um, on, on this upcoming game. And uh, we want to make sure that we... Um, as I said, that, that we improve in our performance and, and we know that the things that we need to get right um, in, in, in this game going forward will also eventually help us and assist us on, on the, uh, the games coming up against the All Blacks Australia and Argentina. But for now, honestly, I think our focus is just uh, to, to be a better team this coming weekend. Yeah, for me as well, I think 
all the focus is on Saturday and the final test against Wales. Frans, net vinnig in Afrikaans. Um, in een week soos hierdie, waar daar natuurlijk de finaal gaan gespeel word, termen van voorbereiding, jylle is span, is het is het anders, of is het definitief maar net diezelfde focus uh, vir jylle in termen van uh, voorbereiding? Ja, ek denk het, het is elke week die celle, um, ons probeer elke week so goed as moendlik voorbereid, het is nie, daar is nie weke wat het minder belangrijk is, of ander weke wat meer belangrijk is nie, ons probeer, ja, wat ek het echt Afrikaans woorde krijg, so consistent as moendlik wees, so ja, ek denk as my, as ek jou vraag antwoord, dit is, al, al die, elke toetsweek is even belangrijk, Steven, ek denk hulle sal hulle sal uitkom, dus 1-1 die reeks, so hulle sal uitkom met baie selfvertrouwe en ja, soos vroeger gesê het, as ons praat van die finaal, hulle is ook in die finaal, so um, ek denk jy is recht aan wat jy sê, maar weer eens, ons moet terug gaan na ons plan toe, ons voorbereiding en ons uitvoering op die veld, sal moet goed wees. Ek kan ons in lengers gegeen. Uh, guys, uh, we, yeah, we've got about four minutes left, so if there's no more Afrikaans questions... Not a problem. Coach, he, self, van die wedstrijd verlede na week in Bloemfontein, wat een positieve dinge kan jylle miskien gebruik hierdie week um, voor zaterdagse wedstrijd? As dat is. Ek denk dat is baie positieve dinge. Ek denk, um, soos ek gesê het, ons het uit die wedstrijd baie lesse geleer. Lesse geleer oor individuele spelers en um, oor ons spelpatroon uh, en wat ons wil bereik. Um, so ons kan, die lesse wat ons geleer het uit die, die week, kan ons, kan ons uh, tot ons voordeel gebruik om beter voor te bereik vir die komende week in termen van spanselekties, in termen van as ek sê, die uitvoering van ons speelpatroon en uh, um, ja, ons sien, ons sien uit na saterdagse wedstrijd, ons besef is, dit is een eindstrijd en dat ons op ons allerbeste moet wees um, en ek denk elke speler wat saterdag die geleendheid gaan kry om daar te speel in so finaal vir hulle gaan het ook belangrijk wees um, om hulle beste te doen. <coughs> Natuurlijk om een goeie uitslag te kry, maar ook met die met die oog op, 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 op wat vir ons voorlee in die jaar en volgende jaar. Okay. Uh, Frans, just it's further to my question earlier about the physicality of the Welsh and them being similar to you. What's also similar to me about the Welsh sometimes is that you guys, when you win a World Cup, for instance, it's almost like there's stuff that's bigger than the rugby itself. Like, I mean, bigger than yourself, should I say. And I'm sort of getting that impression from them on this tour that they're playing for Welsh pride, I mean, because their clubs haven't been playing well and they lost to Italy and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Do you guys as players get that impression that they sort of like, this is almost like a bigger series for them than, than some other series? They, they, they're really sort of treating this as a big one. Um, yeah, to be honest with you, me personally, I don't look into the stuff outside the rugby too much. So, and I can't comment on another country's um, motivation or what they play for, I, I, I don't know, I, I'm not in that environment. But yeah, as I said earlier, they are tough, they don't go away easily. Um, so that's probably why it's so, it's so close. Um, yeah, if that answers your question. And, and also good, good that you're playing them, I mean that they're a good preparation for the season. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're not treating them as prep, yeah. They they are it's a proper series that we need to win on Saturday. Hmm. Last question, guys. Nuts. Thank you.